Once again, what we're going to look at is a brush, and if I zoom in over here, I'm going to show you this last brush. If I click over there, it's this one, Mixer Brush, brand new in CS5, and pretty cool. Now, what it's used for is for making uh, Photoshop work look like paintings, and some people like to do that. Uh, personally, it's not something that I've done much of, but uh, we'll just have a look at it, a brief look, because once again, it's not something that, um, as long as you know it's there and roughly what it does. So I'm just going to open a file, and I've got this one called Birdie. Okay, now that was from the desktop into my samples folder there, and if you've done my course, you'll have that. So Birdie, and I'm just going to open them up, and there it is. It's a, I don't know, that might be a woodpecker or something. But anyway, it's the mixer brush we're interested in here, so I'm just going to go down and get that mixer brush. There it is there. Now just note that it's got that funny little icon uh, with the uh, little drop above it there so they all look very similar so you just got to be a wee bit careful that you get the right one each time you're using this now what the mixer brush does is it sees what's there in the image and it mixes paint for you and just sort of makes it flow together so instead of using a solid color it actually mixes what it sees underneath it um, there's a couple of options up here that you really need to be aware of when using the mixer brush and up here we'll just go and have a wee look at them this thing here is the swatch that it's using and you can clean the brush and you can also load a brush in there okay so you can clean it out so it's nothing um, here's the wetness of the brush how much is on it how much it mixes and how much it flows okay so you can change these and do all sorts of other bits and pieces in there and also it's a good idea to sample all layers these things are really really good to use with um, Wacom tablets and things like that so you can turn bits and pieces like that on and off um, but definitely have sample all layers turned on when using this one's probably a good idea now the way it works is um, I'm going to do this in a new layer we've done this once before but I'll zoom down here and we'll have a look at how to make a new layer that's it there that little icon make new layer icon when I click that there's my new layer there and because I've got sample layers turned on it's going to see those and put it into this layer so first things first, what I'm going to do is clean the brush because it's got some old stuff on there already. So I'm going to go clean brush. So that cleans it out. And I'm going to take a sample over here. So I'm coming over to the actual image. Maybe I can just zoom in a wee bit on that. And I'm going to hold down the option key and click. And notice that over here, it's actually sampled that bark and all the colors that go with that bark. So you can actually um, add or remove them as you need them. So let's have a look at what it does. It works on square brackets keys as per all of them. Okay, so I'll get a big one. And I tell you what, I'm about as good at painting as I am at brain surgery. So uh, this is going to be difficult, but we'll see how we go. So I've got my new layer active. I've got the sampled uh, piece of imagery there. And now I can just start sort of painting on here. And as you can see, the cool thing about this is that it's actually picking up the colors underneath it and putting them in there so you can sort of make it look painted okay and some people love sort of doing this painting thing now if you're a painter obviously and you're used to using um, you know oil paints and things like that you'll understand what most of this is I don't really understand all the uh, terminology with painting and stuff like that like the wetness of the brush and the load etc etc but I understand that this is what it's sort of doing and it can be pretty cool and just remember you can use your big brushes and you can sweep down there and what you've got there is a rendition of what was underneath it uh, mixed out of paint now when it comes to the bird what I'm going to do is uh, make a new layer so I'm back down here so I'm just down here making a new layer above there I'll come back onto this layer here and sample the bird by holding down option I'll just sample on his head there and make sure I'm onto this new layer that I'm putting the bird on. So just like I said before, you activate the layers by clicking on them. So I've got that one active. Obviously need a smaller brush than that. And I'm just going to see what happens here. I'll zoom in. So I'm holding down Option and Scroll Wheel, and I'm just going to start painting this bird in there. I'm using small brush strokes on that. Get even smaller brushes again. I have to get his wee beak in there. Can't have a bird without a beak. So I'll just sort of sweep that out. Oh, jeepers, look at that. But anyway, it's it's um, one of those things. And like I say, if you're a if you're a painter, full-on painter, 
you probably find this really cool and it, you probably be able to get it to behave very similar to um, the way paint behaves. There is a series of brushes under there. And there's also some presets, we'll just have a look here. Um, and up here you've got custom, if I click on that you've got dry, heavy load. Now to painters this is going to mean something to me, I've got no idea really, but I know that they alter the way it works. So I'm just going to go for a moist light, moist light mix here and see what that does. No idea what it's going to do to be honest. So I'm just going to go in there and paint away. It looks like it's doing something, but I'm not sure exactly what. So there we are. I'm just now it's very impressionistic, I guess, and um, you know uh, that's the way some people do paint. And if you have to do some kind of painting thing might be quite nice and you can see my little birds looking alright actually I'll just paint in a wee bit more red there so that's that bit I might as well do the uh, background as well so again I'll go onto this background layer here make a new layer the reason I'm going to the background one is because it'll pop it directly above that so I'll pop it directly above that okay I'll clean my brush clean the brush there I'll take a new sample over here option click and notice that it's changed that up there. Um, I'm on this layer which is underneath the bird and that piece of tree trunk and it's quite a bit of uh, tr trunk there so I might as well, I'm holding shift there, uh, sorry spacebar to move that around so we can see the whole thing. I'll get a big old brush there and just sweep it down there like that. Don't know what this is going to do to my bird. Oh, it just sort of spreads them out a wee bit. Look at that. I knew I could be a painter. I knew it. So Photoshop's allowing me to do that, and um, it is quite impressionistic, and I'll put a little bit of zigzagging in there, just to make it look a bit better. Maybe I could push that around a wee bit. I'm getting into this now, it's kind of cool, it's quite an interesting thing, so I've got that bit there, one more layer, of background, make the new layer, and I'll do this green stuff. The green stuff looks quite nice, probably quite easy to do that too. So we'll have a look, I'll make a slightly bigger brush, holding down option and clicking. So I've sampled that, so it should be giving me that. Uh, this thing can be moved around a wee bit, so it's not in my way. I'm on the correct layer there, underneath the other ones, and I'm just going to paint away there. I'm just going to do a crisscross motion here. Look at that, just to sort of give it that kind of feeling of those leaves in the background. Now this is pretty clever, because it's seeing all of those colours at once, and... Um, allowing you to sort of sample them and use them like that. So it's a pretty cool tool. And I'd say that it's one of the ones that are going to be used for um, more artists than photo manipulators. But having said that, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I've never painted before, so I wouldn't know. But looking at that, oh, I reckon I probably should have. Look at that, that's brilliant. Anyway, a lot of fun. Just recapping, it's this tool here. Mix a brush and uh, you change the sample by holding down option and clicking on it. You can also clean that brush there, so clean it out and get a new sample. Um, you can change these bits and pieces in here and also load custom brushes I guess. Um, and you can alter all these parameters in here. Now the way I managed to get it to work um, reasonably well was to sample all layers and that seemed to really help for me. And as you can see, I've got this thing that does actually look a little bit like a painting of a bird. Hmm, have, have a go.